What's up guys, this is Christopher Carrington with GMUstudent.com and today we are going to learn how to start doing some validations for our form. So as you can see, I built a form that has a name, phone number, email, and comment section. So, but you will see that nothing really happens when the user types in any information. This form doesn't do any kind of validations. And I was a little torn. At first I was wondering if I should walk through with you guys how to make this form, but I've come to the conclusion that I feel like that might be a little bit out of the scope of this tutorial because I'm pretty sure that the majority of people here already know how to build a form. So really what they want to learn is how to do validations on a form. But if you look at my source code, if you want to follow me line for line, all I have is an opening and closing form tag. And then I have three input boxes. So three input boxes, one, two, three. And then the last thing I have is a text area box. And after each one, I have a break. All right. So that's all I have going on so far. So the next thing that we want to do is we want to start writing some JavaScript validations for this form. So what we are going to try and get through in this tutorial is how to do validations for the name and make sure that the user has a first and a last name entered every single time they do, um, every single time they use our form. And what we want to do is we want to produce a prompt to the left of this form, right to the side of it, whether it was good or whether it was bad, bad, just like I showed you in the um, tutorial previously. So if we actually want to put some content to the left of this box saying it's good or saying it's bad that we actually need to make what you would call in a form a label so before this um br i want you guys to just type in label and let's close that and just type in error here and let's see what happens so here you will see it says error so basically in this location next to the um form we are going to put those labels and then what JavaScript will do is while the user is typing in here, this will change. So it will never just say error. It will either say the comment is valid or the comment is invalid. So that's what we are going to learn how to do. But now you can see exactly where that is located. So that's why I typed something in there. So highlight this label and paste it next to all of your other labels. And then under text area, I'm going to paste it there. And let's see how that looks. Okay, so now you will see that if the user is typing in here, the error will come up here. If the user is typing in here, the error will come up there, there, and there. So now we have set up all of our labels. So now we know the area where we want to do that. Okay, but the last thing we want to do is we want, so we want to get rid of error. We want to get rid of error. We want to get rid of error. And we want to get rid of error. We just put those in so that we can check exactly where they were located. But in order to do anything with JavaScript, you need to have IDs on your page because JavaScript will look at this um, this text area and it will be able to find the information in it based on its ID. And it will be able to place the error in this label based on its ID. So in here, I want you to add an ID for this input and just say comment name okay and then I want to add some space in here so you guys can see what's going on okay so then with this label we also have to add an ID so let's say ID equals and we will say um comment name prompt so that's where the comment name prompt will go so if we save this now we have an ID for the comment name and we have an ID for the comment name prompt so now when JavaScript rolls through our document, it will be able to find the correct IDs. So the last thing we need to do in here is we need to say on key up equals validate name. I can't get my space. Okay, there we go. And empty parameters. So what this is saying is when you have an on key up, whenever somebody presses a key, in this form, so when someone here is typing in, and uh, na, 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 so every single time someone types anything in, jump to this function in JavaScript called validate name. Okay, so we want to jump to that function in JavaScript called validate name, and then in that function, we will do everything that we want to do. So as you can see, I embedded a JavaScript file into my index.jsp page. So it will it will look at validate name 
and then it will go to the javascript.js page and it will look for the function called validate name. So in JavaScript, let's say function validate name. Okay, and in here, we are going to put whatever we want to happen every single time someone presses a key in this input. Okay, I hope that makes sense to everyone. So, one of the first things we want to do every single time someone presses a key is we want to get the value of whatever is in that form at the current time. Because let's say that in the form right now it says Chris. So when they type Chris, we want to know that it says Chris and then we want to validate Chris to see if it's good. So the way we do that, the way we get the value of whatever is in that input at that time is type this. Var name is assigned document document dot get element by ID dot value and the ID that we want to get is called the comment name paste that in there so what this is saying is every single time someone presses a key into that input I want you to scan the entire document I want you to look for an ID that's called comment name and I want you to get the value that is in comment name and I want you to put it in this variable. So now under this we will validate that variable. So we will check if name is empty, we will check if name looks like a first and last name, but this is how we are able to get the value of whatever is in here every single time someone presses a key. It's pretty sweet. So we make sure that in index.js it says on key up right here and then we say we want to go to the function validate name so when they say on key up we go to validate name and now we can put in anything that we want. Okay so now in here I want you to say if name dot length equals equals zero. So if the name is zero, we do something. So what name.length is saying is if the value in here, if that if there is nothing in there. So say if the user tried to write all this and then he took that out and then he went to the next one. That would mean that the length is zero. So you should say here name is required if you say zero. But instead of writing, you know, all of the JavaScript to say we want to say this prompt to this place and we want to do it, because if you think about it, we are going to have a lot of prompts on the screen. So anytime you want to do something multiple times, we should have a function that's maybe called produce prompt so that any single time we want to produce a prompt, it will call that function. So right now, if the name is zero, we want to produce a prompt that will say name is required. So outside of here, I want you to say function produce prompt. And I want you to say message, comma, and let's say prompt location, comma, and how about color? And type this and I'll explain it afterwards, I promise. So say document dot get element by ID. Say prompt location. And then say inner HTML is assigned message. And then say document dot get element by ID prompt location dot style dot color dot or is assigned color and then in here what I want you to write is produce oh, I can't spell today I promise I will explain all this afterwards so just say produce prompt and then in here let's say name is required and then let's say the prompt location so our prompt location will be in this um, comment name prompt because we want to put it in this label. So our prompt location will be comment name prompt. And the last thing we want is we want it to be a color of red. And then let's return false. All right. 
and we're gonna have to click OK because anytime you do anything with return for some reason that comes up alright now let me explain everything that we just did so what this is saying is if the name does not have a length so if the user is trying to get out of this without giving us a name then we want to go to this function called produce prompt so we want to go here and we want to send it a message that's called name is required so that's what's going to end up popping up here name is required and the place that we want to put name is required is in the ID comment name prompt and we got that ID from here so we're saying in here we want to produce that message and say name is required and we want it to come up red so in here you will see that's where we actually did it we want to scan the document we want to look for this ID and we want to go to this prompt location what's the prompt location we sent comment name prompt and then we will want to put in the comment name prompt so in that actual label that's what inner HTML means in that in that um, prompt location we want to put this message what's the message name is required and then we want to scan the document for an ID and in that same location we want the style and the color to be red so this is why you make another function because we are actually going to be calling this prompt produce prompt method again and again and again so instead of writing this whole block of code every single time we want to produce a prompt instead what we are going to do is we're just gonna say document we're just going to say produce prompt and we're going to send it what we want so when it ends up being a good produce prompt we're going to end up saying green and we're going to say hello and whatever that person's name is so let's see if what we have so far works so if we come in here and we refresh the page and we type in a little bit and then we take it out it says name is required so it works so we have the first step of what we want so if the user comes in here and they try and type in some information and they end up getting out of here and they try to get out then we will tell the user hey the name is required so this is the first kind of beginning steps that I want you guys to get used to whenever you are dealing with um, JavaScript and form validations so we will always be getting the value from somewhere and then we'll put it in a variable and then every single error check that we do will be in its own if statement and then our condition will be whatever we're checking for and then we are going to produce a specific prompt based on what that thing we were checking for was alright so I hope this makes sense to everyone the next thing we are going to do is we're going to get into some rejects in the next in the next tutorial and we are going to write the um, code that would check if the name has a first name a space and a last name so it's gonna get a little more interesting now we're just checking if there actually is a name in the next tutorial we will check if the name is set up the right way or maybe if there's a number in the name or anything like that so thank you for watching this tutorial I hope it makes sense to everyone I know it was a little fast but I hope it makes sense to everyone and I hope I explained everything well if I didn't please comment below and let me know because then I'll add some annotations if anything wasn't too specific so please comment below let me know and I will answer any comments if there were any problems so thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next tutorial